Hi, my name is Iris, and today I'm heated. I'm sweaty, and I'm heated. This video really just hit me in the face today, but I think the pieces have been accumulating for a while now. I was watching a video about Shein and Romwe and about drop shipping, and for the first time, I decided to hop on AliExpress, see what all the talk was about, which I actually strongly encourage all of you to do as a means of educating yourself and being able to recognize when something is sourced from AliExpress. Also, AliExpress is a marketplace. For the most part in this video, I'm talking about suppliers that list things on the website. Just so you know, there's kind of a distinction between the two. And I also want to say that these are not accusations about any of the shops I talk about or I show. The reality is I do not know the inner workings of any of these businesses and these are allegations. So let's go back to the beginning. I get a lot of targeted Instagram ads for jewelry because I click on them every time without fail. I click on them, I linger, I take in the sites, take in the cute pieces because I like jewelry. It makes me feel cute. It makes me feel pretty. This is a very new development in my life actually. But a couple of weeks ago, I noticed this ring in one of the ads and I actually recognized it from Amazon. So I kind of wrote off this brand as one that resells other goods and doesn't actually design and make their own pieces and I forgot about it. But over the last few weeks, I've seen ads for a lot of like these new trendy jewelry companies just selling the exact same pieces as each other. So I was sort of confused by this, but I just moved on with my life. I didn't care really until today when I went on the AliExpress website and I recognized a lot of the pieces being sold. The ones that immediately stuck out to me were these enamel style rings, specifically the heart ones, as well as the chewing gum style rings that have been everywhere recently. I have opinions about that specific trend, but I'm trying, I'm, I will keep them to myself. Wear what you want. I'm sure it looks great on you. So it's clear that a lot of these boutiques actually buy from the same sellers and repackage the goods with their own branding to resell for a higher price, which I will talk about more. But it's also incredibly hard to tell where the original design came from and if one of these sellers actually designed a ring, say I'm mostly ta I'm talking about rings in this video just because I want to I want to limit my perspective here. We're going to limit this so we can study this, right? Perhaps one of these sellers designed a ring and then it was ripped off by a supplier that other people are buying from. One shop that sticks out to me in just this realm of Instagram boutiques and also this phenomenon of not really knowing who designed it or if they're the original designers or what's happening there is Fraser Sterling. Because I also noticed this incredibly iconic Fraser Sterling mushroom ring on AliExpress. But the thing is that the ring is advertised as 14 karat gold plated brass on Fraser Sterling and is labeled as a zinc alloy on AliExpress. So my guess is that in fact, the design is originally by Fraser Sterling and then it was ripped off by one of the suppliers for AliExpress but it's very hard to tell what happened I don't know what happened that's a guess and you can see other rings in this picture from AliExpress that are on Fraser Sterling and it's possible that the picture that's on AliExpress was actually used to advertise by Fraser Sterling and then it was just like flat out stolen from them like I don't know but that's possible anything is possible but one thing is clear there are the same items or the same designs available on AliExpress and on Fraser Sterling and they are at a much higher price on Fraser Sterling. Now I kind of want to take this company out of the mix because I do kind of believe that they make their own stuff based on reviews, but I don't really know. So I'm going to expand this discussion past Fraser Sterling, we're done here, into just the greater realm of Instagram boutiques because while not all of them definitely source from AliExpress, is it possible that many of them do? Yes. Rings in particular are usually between one and two dollars on AliExpress, sometimes even less than that. Well, the same designs on these Instagram boutiques retail for between like 20 and 40 dollars, sometimes even more, sometimes a little less than that, but usually in that range. Which as a consumer, when I see a higher price tags on things like jewelry, I associate that with more ethical and sustainable business practices. But that association is not backed up by anything. It's the assumption that a higher price tag means something is higher quality and therefore for some reason the business is more ethical but if these things are being sourced from AliExpress 
Clearly that is not the case. So while you might think that you're purchasing from a brand that is fair to its employees, they don't have to account for the people who actually made the items. Are they responsible for the practices of their suppliers? No. Are they responsible for choosing to use those suppliers? Yes. Are they responsible for choosing to participate and profit off of fast fashion? Yes. And I think that because these jewelry pieces in particular are so cheap, more people are able to participate as sellers because it's not the same type of investment that fast fashion clothing is. For example, Grayson did this TikTok calling out a girl basically reselling AliExpress stuff and saying it was hers, which is like what all these other boutiques are doing, but <laughs> she's a hashtag girl boss, <laughs> young entrepreneur who probably doesn't actually grasp the ethical ramifications of her investments and how she is participating in fast fashion. Or maybe she does. Maybe I'm not giving her enough credit. But with all of these brands, it is so hard to tell if they're like using false advertising or something with all this like 14 karat gold stuff or if they're actually making the goods themselves with those materials or even perhaps people are seeing these designs on aliexpress and recreating them with their own materials via their own suppliers so there are a lot of options of what could be happening here and even with branding it can be super hard to tell because things can be repackaged really easily i saw a new brand earlier today and it was so so evident to me that the like logo and the branding and everything was supposed to evoke like en route like it was very clearly copying that aesthetic there's no originality in fast fashion as it turns out it is only the ever hastening trend cycle if you have any thoughts if you've seen this shit, if you've been weirded out by all these new instagram boutiques selling the same exact items please leave a comment let's have a conversation let's bond over our confusion. Also, I'm not gonna demonize you for buying from any of these brands. I'm not about that. It's a little bit different to be profiting off of this and reselling things as your own company than it is to be an individual consumer. I wanna say that. And also I don't demonize people for their consumer choices because I don't know people's situations. And once again, I do urge you to look at AliExpress and just sort of educate yourself about what goods are on there because it's really gonna, like, it really just, made me realize a lot of things. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot and means the world to me. Thank you all you wonderful new people. I'm so happy to have you here and I will see you in the next one. Ever quickening trend cycle. Quickening is not the word I want to use. Thesaurus. Quickening synonym. The ever hastening fucking Christ. Mm -hmm.